Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to take values from a text file and put them into an array. So, let's start off by creating a new project. And let's name this text file inputs. Hit create. Now let's create a new package inside our source folder. New package com.company enter now inside our package, let's create a new class. Let's name this main. Now, before we do anything inside this main class, let's take our text file and put it into our project folder. So I have my text file open right here in my downloads folder. So I'm going to take this and copy it by pressing this button. Close this and press project over here and hit control V on your keyboard press OK and now we have our text file over here now this first number represents how long our text file is so text file is pretty big okay now I'll start coding so let's create our main method public static void main string args okay now let's create a new integer and this integer will represent how big our text file is so int now let's name this text file length okay now we're not going to define the integer yet but we will later so now let's create our scanner class so we can read the text file. So scanner in file equals new scanner. Now inside the parentheses, let's put in new file. Okay, parentheses. Now inside here, let's put in the name of our text file. So our text file name is data.txt, as you can see up here. So let's put in data txt now make sure you import these or else it will not work so let's hover over this and hit alt enter and press import class now our import is up here and now hover over this and press this over here now let's press add exception so it will throw an exception Okay. Now after that, let's define our integer. So text file length equals in file dot next int. Now what this will do is that it will take the the first value of our text file and this will set it to the length of the text file. Now the next thing we need to do is create our array. So, since our values are all decimals, let's create a double array. So, double, let's name this array equals new double. Now, inside the brackets, let's put in text file length. So, that's how long our array is going to be. Now, after that, let's create a for loop so we can read each number in our text file one by one and put it into our array so for int i equals one and we're doing one not zero because the first value is this but we want to read it from the second and beyond so we're doing one here and then after that let's do i less than text file length i plus plus now, inside our for loop, let's put in array of i. And we're doing i because our for loop integer uses an i. And let's set this to equal to in file dot next double. Okay. And again, we're using next double because the rest of our values in our text file are all decimals. 
Okay, and finally we need to put in in file dot close so it closes the text file. Now let's print our array. So it's down here. Let's create a new for loop. So for int i equals one. I must be less than array dot length. That's how big our array is. I plus plus. Now inside here, let's put in a print statement, and then we'll put in array of array of I. Okay. Now let's run our program. Now when we run it. As you can see, all of the numbers in our text file are printed out. Okay, so we have 806, 376, 39. 806, 376, 39.